Amen. Good morning, family. It's good to be back. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, but it's especially good to be back in this house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Our scripture today comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 24. And while you're finding that, I want to say thank you, because Clearwater is a praying congregation, and we feel those prayers, because we need them. And let me give a little selfish prayer right now. I don't know if those of you that are following me on Facebook, first off, I apologize for flooding your newsfeed. Second off, I'm an uncle. Yeah, my brother had a beautiful baby girl, Annabelle Grace. She's four weeks old, and she is precious. So please lift her up in prayer, and my brother, and us, of course. I'm in the NIV. That's Ephesians chapter 4, verses 17 through 24. It reads like this. <clears throat> So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. They are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God, because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. Having lost all sensitivity, they have given themselves over to sensuality, so as to indulge in every kind of impurity, and they are full of greed. That, however, is not the way of life you learned when you heard about Christ and were taught him in accordance with the truth that is in Jesus. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. This is God's word to God's people. 